Hey guys, my name is Sadie and welcome back to my channel or if it's your first time here, welcome. I'm so glad you're watching this video. And I'm here to bring you a type of video that I haven't done in a while but I've done a couple of in the past and that is some of my current favorite pink things. So these are just some random everyday favorites that happen to be in my favorite color of pink. And I actually don't have any beauty favorites to talk about in this video, but this is just more life favorites in general. I love the color pink, so therefore I buy a lot of things that are pink. And here are some of random things that I've accumulated lately and been loving and using. So without further ado, let's get into some of my pink favorites. Oh, and I forgot the song that I have. These are a few of my favorite pink things. Let's get into it. <laughs> All right, this first favorite is a little random and maybe isn't the most practical, but also useful and practical in a way. And that is this Starbucks tumbler right here. I am not the biggest collector of these Starbucks tumblers. I know a lot of people collect them and I do have a couple of them, but Starbucks comes out with these limited edition cups and some of them are tall tumblers like this and they're shorter ones and there's all kinds of drinkware that come out seasonally. And this is one that came out recently that I was very much drawn to because of the color. And like with a lot of things, there is kind of an internet community of people who collect these cups. So in order to hunt down this cup for myself. I was looking at these random pages on Instagram and a lot of people were talking about how these were only at certain stores and not necessarily all standalone Starbucks, but I actually found this one inside of a Safeway. I know probably nobody really cares about that, but that is just to say if you ever are looking for a specific one of these, they may not be at every single location. Is this the most exciting or revolutionary favorite? No, it's not, but it's a very beautiful shade of pink. It makes me very excited to drink water. And I've seen a couple of these studded Starbucks cups in different colors and different textures, but this one just really spoke to my heart and I'm so happy that I ended up finding it. Hydrate yourself. All right, this next favorite is one that's been very practical and something I'm using pretty much every time I leave my house. And this is my little crossbody hip pack, fanny pack sort of bag. I kind of wear it as a sling in the front to hold all of my essentials. I could be wrong, but I feel like this crossbody sling fanny pack kind of bag is becoming more popular lately. Maybe not, but I was just looking for something that when I was commuting, I can hold my smaller essentials, like my phone, my wallet, and my keys somewhere in the front rather than being in my backpack. So I wanted to get a bag like this, and this is by the Swedish brand Fjallraven. I don't know if that's how you really pronounce that. I first became aware of this brand when their backpacks started to become really popular, but I never really was interested in their backpacks because I just kind of wanted something a little more sturdy, a little something with a little more structure than I feel like their backpacks have. But when I was searching for that kind of sling, crossbody, hip pack kind of bag, this one I felt met all of my specifications and of course the color I was very drawn to also. This bag, like I said, is great for holding those smaller essentials that you kind of want to have at an easier reach. So usually in here I keep my phone, my wallet, my keys, my AirPods, all of those essentials that I'm reaching for more often as I'm on my way to work or on my way home. And also just leaving the house if I'm not needing to carry a lot of things, this will just hold all the essentials I need pretty much. And with this material, I was nervous about it not being water repellent or water resistant enough because I live in a rainy place, but it really has stood up well to some rain. I feel like there's a lot of styles of these bags right now, but this is just a style that really drew my eye. I will say for what it is, it is a little Pricey. I think I bought this for $50, so for the size of it, it is a little pricey considering it's on the smaller side, but for the functionality of it and how much I like the design, I think it's been really worth it for me. And it's something I'm reaching for every day, not necessarily being super gentle with, and it's stood up to that durability factor. There's a larger zipper pocket with all my junk inside, but you have a smaller pocket on the inside a hook to hold your keys, and then you have a zipper pocket on the front, a zipper pocket on the back, and also this cute little handle at the top and sometimes 
I just carry it by that too. Functional, adorable, and the perfect size to hold all of your essentials. And I have another bag to mention, which is again in that kind of crossbody sling style, but is a little bit bigger. And this is my Nova sling bag from the brand Dagny Dover. Again, it is it is like the shape of a small backpack, but it only has one strap, so it is that sling. So you could wear it in the front or you could wear it in the back. This is actually one because it is a little bigger that I like to wear it on the back. I feel like Dagny Dover, if you know the brand, then you may be familiar with some of their neoprene bags, either the diaper bag backpack I know is pretty popular, and I actually have a duffel bag from this brand as well that I really love. But the material of this bag is a little more slick than some of those other bags. It's kind of like the material of like track pants or like the outside of a tent. I don't really know how you describe that material, but because it is that material rather than the neoprene, I feel like it's less likely to stain or just kind of attract dirt in general. I don't know why, I just find myself being really drawn to this kind of one strap sling situation. I feel like it's really convenient. It's a little less cumbersome than a backpack, but also more convenient to hold on your body as compared to a purse. And I just kind of like the more casual nature of it rather than carrying something like a purse. I've used this for going to the gym if I don't have to bring clothes because I don't know if I could really fit a change of clothes in here. But I'm also able to fit my taller 24 ounce water bottle. The closure of this bag is just kind of a drawstring closure. So it's not going to be the most waterproof, but on the inside, we've got a lot of stuff going on. We've got some mesh pockets on the side. We've got some zipper pockets on the inside as well. And then you'll notice, of course, there's those two mesh pockets on the front also. You've got lots of places you can hook things onto. I don't really know what the function is of these little loops on the strap. I don't know if you're meant to hook things on there. You definitely could, but I don't necessarily use it like that. And then you've got this convenient pocket on the side too for slipping your phone or wallet into. I believe the name of this color is Rosewood and it's kind of that deepish coral pink color. It has that touch of orange to it as well. I think it's a really beautiful color. A style that I'm currently really liking right now and a bag that I find myself reaching for pretty often. All right, the next favorite is like apparel adjacent accessory kind of. It is a scarf and this scarf is actually from the Lego collection at Target. I feel like Target tends to do these random collaborations with brands and come out things in that style. Like I know they had a Levi's collection a while ago and this Lego collection really drew my eye with all the colorful things and all the fun patterns and the styles of jackets and outerwear and just the designs I found myself really drawn to. However, I didn't really feel like I needed to buy anything except for this scarf right here. So this is a half pink, half red scarf, but I am a big fan of this Lego scarf. Not only is the design of it with the two colors, I feel like really cute. Having that kind of puffer jacket material on the outside and then that Sherpa layer on the inside makes it both really warm and also a little more water resistant. I also feel like it makes it have like a little more structure. So if I'm ever extra cold in the morning, I can kind of hide my face a little bit more. I feel like it combines the best of both worlds with that kind of puffer jackety material, which I feel like I don't see in a lot of scarves, and also the warmth of the Sherpa on the inside. So I'm wearing it a little weird, but there's this orange ribbon, I guess. It's not really an elastic, it's just like a piece of fabric that you can tuck the other side of the scarf into to keep it tucked in. My next pink favorite is kind of a random homewares kind of favorite, but this is my desk pad that I have actually here under my computer and also I have one laid out on my vanity. It's made of this like super thin, not real leather material that's kind of like a mouse pad but bigger so it can cover more surface area. I was looking for these desk pads because my furniture was getting damaged either from stains from my makeup or if I would have a glass of water or something and the condensation would just kind of ruin the material that was on the top of some of my furniture. And this furniture, my desk and my vanity are not made of the most high-end materials, so they were more prone to this kind of 
of damage. And because both of these pieces of furniture were white as well, I was really trying to avoid any more damage, so I decided to purchase these desk mats. I'll insert some footage right here of the desk mat under my computer and also the one on my vanity that I mentioned. For what I was looking for, they're really functional. They add a pop of color to the space. I found them on Amazon. They're pretty affordable. They come in lots of different colors and sizes, so you can choose the one that best fits your needs if this would be something that you're looking for. And my last pink favorite today is again kind of a home favorite and it is my silk pillowcase. So I guess I kind of would count this as a beauty-ish favorite as well because there's lots of benefits to having a silk pillowcase. It can help prevent hair damage, it can be better for your skin because this material is less likely to gather that bacteria that maybe a normal cotton pillowcase would. I've tried what I thought were silk pillowcases but ended up just being like polyester satin pillowcases before and and I didn't really like it very much then, surprise, surprise, but this is actually a silk pillowcase. And this pillowcase is actually by the brand Lily Silk. It feels so weird just holding a pillow. I just want to hug it while I talk about it. But Lily Silk is a brand that I first heard Susan Yara talk about in one of her videos, actually. Lily Silk has these pillowcases and also a lot of other different silk products. And there is that one very popular brand that they sell at Sephora that makes a lot of different silk products like pillowcases. I believe it's called Slip. But one of those Slip pillowcases is like upwards of $80 and I was not willing to spend that much money on just one single pillowcase. One of these pillowcases is less than half of the price of one of those, so of course I was a little more drawn to it. And the feeling of sleeping on silk can just feel nice and luxurious and it feels nice and cooling. I feel like cotton sheets or pillowcases can tend to feel really stuffy or really hold a lot of heat and these feel nice and cool to sleep on. They feel really soft to the touch, they don't at all feel suffocating like those fake questionable silk pillowcases out there can feel. It feels super nice and breathable and I have been loving using it. And this brand, Lily Silk, like I mentioned, makes a much more affordable option as compared to some of the other ones out there and I think it functions just as one should. No complaints from me here. And that is all of my pink favorites for today. Had a little bit of everything, some bags, some drinkware, some homewares. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like or a comment down below if you feel so inclined. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe to stick around. I would so appreciate if you did. And until the next one, I will see you all then. Bye.